What's up YouTube? This is Leviathan Kraken here and I've decided to put together a list of some upcoming underwater games. Kind of like Subnautica, but some I've got that are a little bit different. I've been looking at a list of mostly games on Steam. Certain games that are upcoming for 2023 or in the future. Some of them are potentially in early access, some we don't even know when they're coming out. But I've got a list of many different types of underwater themed games. Some of them are shooting kind of games, some of them are just like Subnautica, and then I've got a few here that are like mermaid themed games. I don't know if you're interested in mermaids or not, <laughs> but I know they have been very popular lately with the Netflix show that's been going on, and by the way, I actually have met Mermaid Sparkles from that show, by the way. But anyway, that has sparked a trend, and so we are seeing some mermaid-themed games that have some amazing visuals, but it looks like you might fight leviathans also in these games, and they look really cool. So I'm going to get right into it, and I'm going to show you a list of some of the games that I felt personally had the most potential. And to be clear, there are hundreds of different underwater themed games that are either out or upcoming but these are the ones that are upcoming that I felt had the most promise so let's get right into it alright so now we have a game here called Siren I personally signed up for the Patreon. When I saw it, I was blown away. Uh, now, this is a mermaid game, to be very clear. I'm not... I, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't describe myself as the largest enthusiast of mermaids specifically, but when I saw this and the gameplay and the potential that this game has, I immediately signed up. I want to show you guys what... So here's the trailer right here. Let's just dive right into this. This is cinematic. I don't think this is gameplay per se. I don't know. Speak with me, traveler, and we shall speak of the path ahead. So it's got an RPG Those who arrive from this current are often in search of places further beyond. But here, we summon the dwarves. I'm pretty sure this is a real engine. We'll build courage for the journey ahead. I know your path, true woman. If you and I have swept. What mysteries yeah, will you find in the forgotten depths below? Oh, see, now there we go. This, when I saw this, I was like, so this is the reason <laughs> I gotta play this. You're apparently gonna fight the Kraken at some point. Or a giant Leviathan. secret history. Well, that looks like a portal, portal. And could a new legend rise to take its place? It's got the trident right there. actually been following some of his posts on the Patreon page and he will every now and then send like a poll of asking questions like what, what kind of gameplay would you like to see in the game? Should it have this element? Should it have that element? And we're talking about like base building and you know different RP aspects of RPG elements and so it's very much in progress. They're still deciding where to go with the game so I'm gonna put this out here Patreon slash Siren underscore the underscore RPG and I signed up for them, and I would love it if everyone supported this guy. But the individual that started this project, he quit his main job uh, in order to hit this full time. And you know, for anyone that's able to go out there and chase their dream, I, I think I'm so happy for anyone that has that ability that can that can just stop what they're doing and chase their dream full time. 
that's amazing. I, I wish the best for this game right here. I, will, I support it 100% and I think it looks really cool. So this game is called The Deep. Explore the vast underwater world as one of the four divers on a mission. Build your base, grow plants, and craft items to survive. Upgrade your gear, scavenge for resources, and uncover the secrets of the alien planet in this survival game. So just by this picture and what I just read, we already have a Subnautica clone, and of course there's nothing wrong with that. It looks a lot like Subnautica. Let's see what we got on the trailer. Our Aqua. That's our planet down there. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> All right. Kind of gave me a little bit of Subnautica Below Zero vibes. Wow. I don't think, yeah, this is clearly not gameplay. This is just like a cinematic trailer. Oh, wow, now that looks scary. Ooh, look. Oh, my gosh, that was like a big, giant-looking eel. I like the way that they did the depth here. I feel like this is something that Subnautica kind of did wrong. But I'm not seeing any gameplay. I just see a lot of pictures and... Okay, well here's, this looks like, this might be gameplay. You're swimming, looks just like Subnautica, but that right there does look really good. It says, deep beneath the uncharted depths of our aqua, a marine biologist and his team have vanished without a trace. The only clues to their fate are a series of cryptic transmissions that hint at a shocking discovery, a mysterious substance that could unlock the secrets of immortality, okay, itself. Now, as the leader of an elite team of divers, it's up to you to brave the treacherous waters of this alien world, uncover the truth behind the scientist's disappearance, and confront the dark secrets that lurk in the depth. So this is really cool. It's like you're on a mission to find the Holy Grail, basically, <laughs> and you're on this alien planet. Now this is definitely going to be on the top of my list. I can't wait to see actual gameplay. If you are a Subnautica fan, this is a must-have. We don't have any kind of ETA on the release date, but keep keep your eye on this. Keep, add that to your wish list. Follow it. The Deep Blue Epic. Now this one is actually out. It's in early access, so I definitely would like to start covering updates on this. I, I definitely need to play it on my channel. Let's go ahead and just watch the video. Now this one right here, you are it's think of it kind of like man eater except for you are playing multiple different types of creatures i think i think this is amazing i think it looks awesome and the fact that this is just oh <laughs> i definitely want to play the squid the fact that it's an early access i mean it's going to look better and better oh wow there's a humpback i don't know what or was that a i can't remember the name of that whale um i think those are some of the glade they're in the cold water areas. Let's see, is that a sperm? I think that's a sperm whale. Yeah, that's a sperm whale. Oh, he's going to eat the squid. So, I don't know what, what exactly the goal of this game is. Okay, you're, you're playing as a marlin here. I'm not. Okay, is that like a tuna? <laughs> so I'm guessing this is just a, a survival kind of game where you're... Uh... <laughs> He's trying to eat the whale. But if you're playing as something that eats plankton like that, then I don't know what the goal is in the end. So let's take a look at the description here and let's see what we got. It says an open survival game where Players can play marine creatures to survive. Multiple species in the game swim and sprint freely in the ocean. The endless ocean will give players a unique, thrilling, and exciting gaming experience. Different species have different eating and breathing experiences, and all creatures have dozens of growth stages. 
players will experience the physical changes and environmental threats brought about by gradual growth. Species have their own attack methods and methods, and some species also have the ability to bleed or fracture opponents. Players will experience a rich combat experience ready to survive as a hunter or prey. So I don't know if you play through the whole game as just one creature, or if you have different levels for different ones. I'm not sure quite how that's going to work. But I definitely see, you know, when I saw this, I saw a lot of promise here. I, I definitely see a lot of potential. And so this is an early access, Blue Epic, you can get it here on Steam. I think this is definitely something we want to keep an eye out on. So I have another game here that is sort of kind of like Star Fox, but hear me out. You got to see this. This one's called Underwater Space, uh, release date 2024, descend into the depths of an underwater world filled with wonder, mysteries, and peril. Fight to survive among unknown, dangerous species, discover the story behind the abandoned base, Ex explore this wonderful world, and learn its history. So you have got to see the trailer. This looks so good. Trying to figure out, okay, so there looks like right off the bat, I'm seeing so many different camera angles. Like, I saw like what looked like 2D for a second there, then I saw first person, and then like third person, and now we're back into third person, like an overview. So, it, it seems to me like there's gonna be all kinds of modes for this game, like base building, piloting, different, different, um, different missions. Hey, look at that. That looks like the blueprint there. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's always a bigger fish. Dang, he cut that head off. So, I mean, can you just imagine the kind of leviathans you're going to run into on this game? But it looks... Oh, dang, look at that. It looks amazing. I think this is definitely something I... Just pure 100% fun. Like, I would love to play this. We'll take you to an un unknown world in which you'll experience exciting fights, discover new species and places, and you'll take care of resources, supply, building an abandoned base, or rebuilding an abandoned base, and developing your own ship. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of base building here. Water space sometime in 2024. Check it out. All right, so we've got a game here that's actually about to be released in like a little over a month. So this one's called Under the Waves, and it looks to me like it is a major production, a big release. And it says, Stan, a professional diver in the North Sea, is struggling to overcome a life-changing loss during an extended mission underwater. Stuck in his self-imposed solitude, he starts to experience strange events and will have to make the most significant choice of his life. So let's go ahead and just dive right into this trailer. There's two trailers. Good morning, Stanley. It is 7.32 a.m. I hope you have a productive day. <laughs> Change username to just Stan. Adjusting morning wake up. Good morning, just Stan. Base to capsule 12. Come in. You there, Stan? We're in across the board. Looks like we're good. Oh, wow. Working right there. So, visually, 10 out of 10. I mean, it looks amazing. So you're working underwater, you're trying to, you know, do your daily tasks. Oh, seal. <laughs> Sonar. Tentacles, or is that a plant? I can't think of it. Hmm, is it a whale? Are you there? Oh, I love the whale. Okay, so my first impression here is that it's it's like a mystery, kind of like an underwater mystery. You're, you're down there, and it seems like something you're being lied to. There's something going on, and you have to investigate. Let's check out this other trailer just real quick. Behind us. 
<laughs> Definitely some Nautica vibes. Objects. Memories. Mistakes. Nice. This game is gonna be beautiful. I hope it's open exploration though, and not just a and not just a linear story. Silence is full of ghosts. I feel like it's gonna be linear though. And here, hmm. voices oh, that's can underwater. only come from the deep. What's that? A ghost? Deep. Under the waves. Imagination. Hmm. So, probably be a linear path, unfortunately, but it still looks beautiful. Uh, my impression here is it's it's kind of a little depressing. <laughs> the music, the him talking about his saying he's struggling to overcome a life's changing loss. I, I saw the ghost of a child right there. Yeah, like I'm going to assume that his child died and he's trying to focus on his career and his job. I hope it does have a really good twist, plotline twist, a great story to it because the, the trailer, it does seem really sad. This will be out next month. I will, of course, definitely play it regardless. But Under the Waves on Steam. Check it out August 29th if you are interested. So this one's called Sonorous, Deep Down Below. Lost in the middle of the ocean, find the key to save humanity from an eternal life on the open sea in a continuous fight for survival. Let's see what we got here. Alright, a little crab going by. Craft. Okay, so this kind of looks to me like one of those um, stranded clones. Yeah, this looks a lot like stranded. It looks beautiful though. Wow. Okay, that looks just like a whale. So I'm assuming you are on. Or, oh, cool. You got like a. Um, you got like a, a submarine there. Okay, so there's other people that you have to fight. Okay, and we got guns. Alright, alright. Now that doesn't look like anything I've ever seen on Earth. It, it looks beautiful. This game looks really good. But I'm not seeing any, like just that one creature at the end look kind of alien. So let's see what we've got here on the description. Unforgiving first-person survival game set in a dystopian world. The X2HX virus eradicated human life on inhabited soil, forcing life on the open sea. Hmm, so you've got some kind of virus living in the dirt. It says you play as Matthew Cole, a lead bioengineer working on Sonoris, a low frequency cure to eradicate the virus from the soil. Okay, uh, from the soil. Alongside scientists from around the globe on board the Fortune, a floating military research facility. Fortune got shipwrecked in the deep sea with humanity's only hope on board. You survived. Your mission, stay alive and find a way to retrieve Sonoris in an everlasting battle against starvation, thirst, and ruthless enemies. It sounds a lot like Subnautica in many ways, but it's also a lot like that other game called Stranded. But it does look beautiful, it does look nice, and so I definitely think I would love to play this. It says, to be announced, no no release date. So to see something like this and know that it's still not even anywhere near being done, it, it definitely has a lot of promise. Alright, and real quickly, there is one other mermaid game that's in development that I've noticed. There's probably more than that, but this one, this guy I followed on YouTube under Russ, Russ2834. Okay, so now this guy is working on a different mermaid game under Unreal Engine 5. And I, at first I thought that this was the same game, but it's actually not. And this guy is going with a different style, a, a different, he's going in a different direction here. This one, you can actually transform into human form with two legs. And there he has like a, th think of it like a Skyrim. And, and you can walk around, you gain levels, you fight, and then of course you can swim underwater and transform into your mermaid form. And he's he's been showing, he doesn't really seem to have a trailer, 
but he has been showing different testing videos of, of what kind of stuff he's adding to the game and how, how that's working out for him. You can just see basically test videos. I, I This guy, if you want to follow him and you're a big, huge mermaid enthusiast, uh, this right here would be another game that you definitely want to follow because I, I would love to play both of them and this one particularly because of the fact that it's like an RPG where you can go into human form and then it's like I think there was at one point there was like a let's see if I can find it she was like on top of a unicorn <laughs> so we've got all kinds of fantasy elements here and it looks great yeah there it is right there she's on a unicorn or She's on a um, Pegasus. I'm sorry, not Unicorn. She's flying around. And that just looks... Look at the background. It looks so real. It looks so good. So this guy right here, I'm keeping an eye on everything that he is releasing. He has got a really cool looking game. His last update was four months ago, but he's been pretty steady. It says over a year ago that he started this. So it's making some progress. If he has a Patreon, we'll, we'll, I'll try to find it for you guys to put on the video description. And so that way we can support him. But this is another game that I think definitely has a lot of promise. All right, and that's all I have for you today, guys. I decided to actually break this up into two-part video because it actually ended up being a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. So that I, this is going to be the first half, seven games. And then the next week, I will show you seven more underwater games. And be sure to stay tuned to that because i got some really cool games that i found that are really really gonna blow you away so don't forget to check out the siren patreon page don't forget to check out my etsy page and here's my link to my other social medias here see you next weekend